they um, they came in and shot the ball extremely well. They did, you know, and some guys that uh, had been making shots over the course of a, a couple weeks stepped up and made big shots for those guys. And uh, you know, for a better part of the uh, the first half, uh, we did just enough to be right where we needed to be. You know, without with the with the exception of closing out the half there. But uh, I thought that, I thought that again that ended up being the story of the game. You know, we couldn't get meaningful stops when we needed to get stops. I mean, they they scored tonight. And, uh, you know, like I told our guys back there, anytime a team shoots 60%, you know, they both halves and they end up 60 for the game, you know, it's going to be a long night for you. I mean, tonight we didn't, we didn't have it for whatever reason on the defensive end and didn't compete at the level we needed to on defense. I know your guys knew who the shooters were for San Diego State. You preached that during the shoot around. How surprised were you that the bench play of San Diego State gave them that kind of jump start from the perimeter? Guys like Aquil Quinn were knocking down three balls. Oh, Quinn was, was critical for him. He came in and, uh, you know, he had 11 points at halftime. He ended up with 17 for the game, you know, and uh, they've been stymied a lot uh, against zone. And uh, anytime they have a guy that comes in there and gives them a lift aside from things, making shots, um, you know, it, it again, it makes them feel a lot good, a lot better, and uh, they, uh, they're they going to be more effective against our zone, you know. But we, we tried to mix it up tonight. We went, you know, man, with zone. <laughs> We just couldn't get stopped tonight against a really good team and give them a lot of credit. They made shots. That's right. Sometimes you have to credit the opponent, don't you? I mean, they are a nationally ranked team that came in here with a purpose and they played like a nationally ranked team. Oh, no, absolutely. No, no question about it. I just said to our team just a second ago, you know, we had a team come in here tonight that knew they were playing the hottest team in the league and, uh, and they were ready. They came to play. They didn't come in tonight not expecting, you know, a team that was going to play well and compete against them, you know, and uh, again, you know, that didn't happen, and I said this to our guys, that, that didn't happen overnight. That program over there, they've, had, they've experienced a high level of success, and they understand this time of year what they're playing for, and they don't take nights off. You don't have a night off where you don't come in and compete, whether you're at home or on the road, at the level that you have to. Coach, I know it wasn't the end result you wanted, but uh, just to be out there and to see 14,801, to hear them, to feel them, to, to see everything uh, that happened tonight with Coach Tark and all that. What kind of sense did that give you about where this program can go? I mean, you know, started the game for myself. I know, and I, I can probably speak for our players, the crowd was tremendous. You know, I mean, it's the best by far, you know, obviously since I've been here in terms of just the electricity, you know, the excitement around this game. Uh, you know, the fans were a factor in terms of, uh, of the crowd, you know, the noise, you know, and again, we're in, a, we're in a great basketball league, you know, and we play in venues every night that, uh, uh, that have hostile places to play. And, uh, and I think, you know, we're, we're going to get to that point. I mean, our fans came out tonight. I know we didn't give them our best effort tonight in terms of, of defense, but hopefully we can continue to keep them behind us and, and what we're trying to do. But, you know, we need them, and, and they were great. They were tremendous. They really were. I had to tip our hats to them in terms of being here, excited for us, and, uh, and cheering the way they did for us. And we will know more once we get back with the, uh, you, know, <coughs> you know, doing what we have to do in terms of our training staff, you know, getting that thing examined and, and looked at the right way. It's hard to give a prognosis of what it is right now. And, um, you know, they've done a great job all year with, with doing a good job of diagno diagnosing a problem and, and uh, really rehabbing our guys and getting them back out on the floor. So, um, you know, we just hope and pray that everything's okay. Tyler, it had to be, uh, you know, good to have 14,000 fans on your final home game. Had to be really good. Yeah, it was awesome. The, the crowd did a great job. Uh, you know, we didn't give them a, a whole bunch of cheer about them. But, uh, uh, you know, I thank you for all the support. Thank you to all the fans who came out. Uh, sorry we didn't end it the right way, though. Are you going to have a story to tell uh, baby Damien about the time he slept through a standing ovation? <laughs> I, I tried to wake him up, but, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he's a rock. You know, he's been coming to all the games, and so uh, he's used to the noise. Coach, uh, a week from so seeding implications that may or may not be there. How big a deal is it to you in this program that opportunity to finish above 500 on the season? That's a real big deal. I, I said to our guys, you know, uh, you know, we're going to regroup from this. We're going to learn from this this outing tonight, playing one of the top teams in the country. Um, you know, but we got to go back and, and again get back on our defense. This this run that we started and. Uh, the upstart that we have right now, what we are, was predicated a lot on our defense, and uh, tonight we didn't have our A game, and you can't not, not have A, a game efforts in this league. And, uh, you know, we're playing a really good San Jose team that can really shoot the basketball, put a lot of pressure on you in terms of scoring, so 
defense is going to be a premium in that ball game, and we're going to get back to the basis of, uh, of uh, working hard on that end of the floor and uh, competing at a very high level.